Hey guys, this is the prequel intro because this video, we go to some of the highest points in the Grampians. That's high. That's as high as I've ever been, I reckon. Not in a plane. And some of the, well, called the gnarliest tracks in Grampians. But the video starts out a little bit tame, so if you don't want to see me talking about setting up the car, fast forward. If you don't want to see us walking up a hill, fast forward and just go straight to the gnarly stuff. But it was a cracker trip, so if you like all our content, just keep watching. It's vlog day, which means we're away and there's a good chance of going forward driving. Back of the car, heaps of crap. Back of my car, heaps of crap. Brad's car. He loves it when I just walk up. Look at this, so organized. All the drawers, all set up. Pies are in already. I so need to get some drawers into my life. So we are at, uh, where are we? Hall's Gap. It is Monday morning and we're heading out. We did want to chase snow and we went looking and the highest point around here is 1100 and something meters, which is Mount William. There is formula rain expected there today. It's just not, I don't think that's enough to get snow. Um, like it's getting down to four degrees up there. So either that or there's some other tracks. So there's Chinaman's track. We've been speaking to Mert. So you'd know traveling campers, another fantastic uh, Y62 sort of uh, traveling YouTuber. And um, yeah, chatting to him last night. And he's given us a few places we can go today to find some mud and tracks. So we're just getting ready which means <laughs> it's good and bad. It means, so the mirrors have to come off, the tow hitch comes off. I don't know if I'm gonna need a recovery, but I need to be ready. So I've been traveling with tubs on this trip. I've got to get some drawers soon because it's just, it's too hard. Um, so what I usually do is have a tools tub at the bottom or top, and then I've got my recovery gear um, and <laughs> Illy's just dropped the drone off, nice. But I never leave all the recovery gear in the tub because it's all strapped down and when I have to get it out in an emergency, it's too hard. So my go-to is just a kinetic strap, um, uh, which has got the shackles, uh, soft shackles in the same bag, and then um, my damper. So I leave that out the car on top of the fridge here so anyone can, in the car can access it, throw it out the window, just do that recovery. And then all my full-on recovery gear is then in the tub. So if I'm at that level and I need the tree trunk protectors and the snatch blocks and all that sort of stuff, then I can stop and get it all out. All right, let's pack the car and get out of here. Bush barriers are still on, but yesterday when we were talking about what our plans were, I thought I'll start packing them up because I'm not going to go for all driving. So I took all the ones off this side and then it got muddy. Which has me worried because the last big trip I did with Ilya was up at Glass House and we took the bush barriers off because we're just going out to have a look at the tracks. Kind of like today. So another big trip. Ilya's along, bush barriers are off. I'm not sure what this is going to mean. <laughs> all right, all packed in nice and neatly now, strapped in so nothing can fly around the car in case of an accident. Still need to get some drawers, but that's, that's, that's okay. All right, so basically Googled hardest track in Grampians and it's come up with a, a launders track or something like that. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna go and um, see this Mount William, this highest point. The kids will be happy, especially if there's snow, but it's a blue sky, so not looking good. And um, yeah, then we'll do what we do and go check out what's supposed to be the most difficult track in Grampians. Let's go up to 1100. We're just going to keep climbing. 
timing. Oh, is that where we're going? Maybe. Must be. Long way up. So you can only drive up about, I don't know, 900 meters, and then you got to walk the last 200 meters. There was quite a bit of whinging, and it wasn't from the kids, but we're walking. But look, you get to see this. How cool is that? So we still got like a lot to go. How good is this? Starting to see some people are more suited to supercharged big lifts, 37s, than walking. <laughs> Not talking about Sharon. Go on, man. Come on, man. Nearly there. Oh, I'm too old for this crap. Ah, <laughs> oh, but look at the view. Fly up like a thousand of them, and then I'll grab them. It'll make them feather weight, and then oh, man. On the way here, he goes. Oh, we just got to go and find like the biggest hills in Grampians, and I did. He's just got to oh, walk them. No, 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 no. <laughs> Old mate here reckons he can take a shortcut. <laughs> it's making it harder for himself. Right, here we go, we made it. Walked the hill, took the photo, bought the t-shirt, let's go do some full driving. Right, enough of that walk, we're a full driving YouTube channel, not a walking YouTube channel. So uh, we're out on our way, it's a bit of a drive, it's about, I don't know, an hour's drive, but just enough time to put the pies in the travel buddy and get them cooking. Launders track is supposed to be the hardest track, according to, I don't know, Google when I looked it up. I often wonder sometimes, because we, we look up these tracks and go, oh, you know, dip, difficulty level red or something. Um, Climbing up this mountain soon. When we go to Glass House, we know that means it's really hard. When we're here, who knows? So we'll show you. So if you come here, you can see what the hardest track in Grampians is supposed to be. Huddle. Right, this is the track. We just made it to the start. I'm looking at it. To get here wasn't that hard. Surprisingly sandy. There's a track up there behind me. You know, do I even bother airing down? No, I should, but I just worry this is going to be another one of those disappointing ending up in a scenery track. But it said, like, out of the scale, um, there was, I don't know, easy, hard, and then there was difficult and very difficult. And I call this a difficult but there wasn't any tracks that said very difficult on the whole map of Grand Pins full driving. Might just take like, you know, drop it down to maybe high 20s. We'll see how that goes.
start and pretty tame, but you never know. It's a short track. Maybe something's about to happen. All right, okay, now we might have found something here. I see up ahead some rocks and steps and things. so chose. Oh, there's a few drops of rain coming down. This could get interesting. to flip the front locker on briefly. Wowie. Uh, all right, I'll take, it was like maybe two seconds, so I'm gonna take two points off. I did it as well, man, because I started losing air, yeah? <laughs> I had a pretty decent whip, wheel lift, I reckon. <laughs> yes, you did. All right, but no points for Wobble? No, nah, man, his wheel, I've seen his wheel lift, it's like 150 mil off the ground. 
So you put front locker on too? No front locker on. Rear locker? I got stuck. I put no lockers on. All right, that's two points for Wifey62 and two points for Dash. Wobbles in the lead. Oh no. <laughs> I think I followed your line. All right, let's keep moving forward. House just happening again. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Are you going both lockers, William? No, let's try without lockers. If we get stuck, well, then we'll go lockers. Watch this. Ilya will do it without lockers. Looking at the top, 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 it looks wet. It's like then he'll, material, yeah? then he'll press the locker and then Brad will try and do it without lockers and then we'll get some massive recovery. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Drop some more air out of the tyres. How about chicken? I'm alright. Do we drop more air out there? Nah. It's on. Right. What are we looking at? We've <laughs> <laughs> the whole track covered now. Oh, it's a bit slippery up there. Oh, that's like wet clay. Oh. No lockers for the wind. the button yet?
I don't think Locker's going to help you.
Look what they've done to this trap. That's a dog's breakfast now. So I've got the lowest lift and the more road-like tyre. This should be interesting. All right, here we go. Brad's out the car spotting and I can just see oh, wobbles in, in the way I can just see Ilya's car or Wifey 62 just nudging around up there fighting for traction I can only see one wheel I'll just show you I suppose let's go up and have a look Once Go again, <laughs> we, uh, we, we're uh, complacency got us, and this is actually a hard track. Yeah, you 
you going to Andrade? So it's pretty much a certainty that because Elia didn't drive that line, Brad has to prove that it can be driven. So I'm going to stage up over here on that hard line. I'll let the rider reckon. I see what's going on here. You're just trying to make it hard for me. <laughs> Again, where I have to go and drive this now. Mr. Bass, before you go down, what are we doing here? We'll do the same one. Right, done. Settled. We're on radio. <laughs> We're on video. Yeah. So. Look at these holes. No, Brad made the line. He made it easy. 
I reckon that went all right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get on camera, but they both came past my window and I'm gonna make them admit this. I just won two points back because I didn't slip wheels and do this backwards and forward rubbish. Um, I do have it on camera. Yes. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I do too. All right, so um, we should have kept score here. I think, um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm still behind. <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple more epic drives, I think. down which means there's going to be a tricky bit coming up by the looks. I'll try and stick close to Brad so we can see what it's about. There's ruts here. We've come back and that's the end of the full driving part of the day. A bit sad to air up. <laughs> what was the point score at the end? You were like minus 75. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the, I'm around that too. I think Wobble's a winner on this one. Wobble's a winner? Wobble, wobble. I don't know, you two made it look pretty hard today. Yeah, but... Jigger joke. Alright, we've pretty much done this whole trip either by a toy cop... <laughs> A coin toss or just made it up on the fly so i don't really know what's going to happen next so um just say see you next time on youtube yeah yeah well, what was the final score today well you won for the uh, easiest lines taken <laughs> i thought the game was the hardest lines you take the hardest line you made me look bad i think that was the rule at the start i think but... i made myself look bad and then you just walked up and then i'm like oh crap that's gonna happen <laughs> we were taking the hardest lines all right <laughs> I don't know if he was taking the hardest lines or making it look the hardest, Probably but <laughs> editor's rights here will just make me look good through this video. You definitely look good. <laughs> All right, let's line up for a thumbnail photo and then we're good to go.